he is going to hate me for this. Hey, chips. Can I show you to the people? Oh, oh, oh. Little jumper. Stop, 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 stop. Chill. He's preparing to jump. He doesn't like me. I mean, oh, come on, chill. Chill, dude. <laughs> He's super jumpy. What's up with the tongue? Short update. <laughs> Short update on him. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Chips, 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 chips. Come on, chips, please. We talked about this. He really d Ow! He bite me. I mean, he bit me. Why you bit me? I will leave you alone, okay. Chips, let's be friend. He actually bit me. It doesn't hurt at all, but it hurts my feelings. But there it is. <laughs> I don't know if I need to give him more time, but every time I try to handle him, he just freaks out. And I hope that things will go better as he gets older, but... He really doesn't like that. So this will be feeding slash update video. I will give you a little bit of everything. First, we will try to feed Licosa Tarantula. On the Instagram, I posted that other wolf spider died, unfortunately. It was a wild caught adult female, so I'm even surprised how long it lived. So that was really nice because I had her for like maybe a year. While this wolf spider, the Licosa Tarantula, is alive and kicking. And let's give it a roachy roach. Slowly, oh, got him. That was a nice shot. I really love the patterns that this species have on the side of its arm. You see that black and white, really cool. And pedipalps, and pedipalps, as you can see, are actually like orange, something like that. And also you can see on bottom of its abdomen, there is some orange color, really cool. And so cool that she is staying outside for us. So next update, I posted that short tortoise video last Wednesday. And it was probably the most cutest video that I ever posted. One update regarding that tortoise. I named it 8 because it has number 8 on its shell. Since Testudo margirata, that's the species of that tortoise, it is on protected animals list and you are not allowed to catch them from the nature. So we need to have papers that it is a captive bred and the sellers are writing numbers on tortoise shells so they know which one is which, so they can give you the right papers. And this one got number eight on its shell. It will eventually go away, but it is funny because it can be male and female name. And also it is kind of a reference to Stranger Things because there is a character named Seven. So eight, why not? I like it. I hope you also like it. The spider is gone. We can see the booty down there. Really nice. Next feeding clip. Also non tarantula, Linotele megateloides, the, the super Weber. Dude, that was super fast. Super Weber and super fast. There it is, a nice close up. These are fast feedings. One more update. You see, I'm working on a bunch of enclosures. I have four of these size. Actually, four are here, one is over there in works. I have four of this size, I have two of this size. Also, I have, there are five more enclosures in works. So that is total 15 new enclosures that I'm working on. Need a lot of enclosures for new space. Let's continue with non-tarantula spiders. This will be the Sicario species, Hemosoides or something like that. I will write it down as always. They aren't really growing as fast as I would like them to grow. <laughs> and they're always catching their prey so funny. You see he bolted and stopped. I don't know why they do that. And now he's just waiting for I don't know what. There, finally. That was a bite, but will you eat it or what? Yeah, he finally got it. I'm trying to get a molting clip from these guys, but I never catch them molting. 
you know that I have four of them. We will try to feed another one, maybe a bit better clip. Wrong way, buddy. I was actually watching at my microphone, so I didn't I didn't see how he got it. But he definitely got it. Let's carry on the business. Next one will be Caribena Versicolor. Versicolor. It used to be an avicularia. Now it's Caribena. It is usually really fast on, on catching the prey. Nine. Where's the roach? They really lost it. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> that was really fast. And she is ready for new enclosure. One of these enclosures is for her. And we are greeted with the happy dance. How kind of her. That was really short though. All right. Next one. Terinohelus murinus, the sling that I have. You know that I have a female, but this is a sling and it is going. No, 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 don't go. Come on, Mr. Roach, move a bit. If you are wondering why this roach is white, it is freshly molted, that's why. It still didn't harden completely. While we are waiting for roach to move, Another update, I still see comments, what's up with the ants, they are hibernating. Once it gets warmer, I will bring them out and make new nest for Alasius nigger colony. Until you see that video, they are still hibernating. Give it some time. What's up, roach? The sling went down, you see, down here, and now it is moving. Should we wait or carry on? Uh -huh. I got its attention, attention, three to one. Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, yeah, the infamous OBT. Even though it's really small, orange color is clearly visible. Actually, not that bright orange, but definitely orange. Here is the Pecelteria regalis, but it didn't eat last time. I'm assuming a pre-mold, so I won't be bothered with her. Holotele, heterotele, not sure. Insei gold, not sure which genus. I think Holotele Insei gold, I'm pretty sure. Roach stopped, but I can see feet. As soon as it moves, it will be a bam. While we are waiting another update, I know that I had something else. Oh yeah, regarding Petzalteria Metallica, it is right here. As you know, I parried her, so she was in colder room and now I brought her back here and I'm hoping that she will make an exec. We will see about that. We are still waiting here. I don't get it why they sometimes do that. Not always. How they decide. Now I will just stop and be motionless because, yeah. As if it knows that we are recording and it is just messing with us. Now you can see the legs. I will gently try to poke it. <laughs> okay, so Holotella in say gold. Let's move to the next one. Should we try our luck with Idiotella Mira? She didn't eat last time, but I left the roach inside and next day it was gone. So that means that she is eating, just not in front of us. Or actually in front of me. Because I never seen her catch anything. Looks like no luck. Let's take a sneak peek regardless. You see? So cool. Oh, 
really cool species. I love when they have some unique unique feature. I believe there is another species of of Terinohelus, like the obitip Terinohelus murinus. I think there is is it Lugardi? Terinohelus Lugardi. I think it also makes a trapdoor. Not sure though. Now here we have one really fat Psalmopeus pulher or Cambrigay. I'm not certain, but Psalmopeus it is. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the legs. Here it is. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't a good recording, but it was fun to see it. Now another Psalmopeus. And down there, I, I will actually show it later. Let's feed it first. <laughs> okay, now you see, I have a bit of mold outbreak here. I'm trying to dry it out now, but it's not really helping. So we will see, maybe I will just rehouse it and be done with it. And the last one, is it here? Yeah, it is. Don't be mad. It is the Harpactira pulchripes. Cool. That was a good shot. The golden blue-legged baboon. I believe that's the common name. Alright, this would conclude another feeding video, mixed up with some updates. Regarding the animal room, the space, the dark den in works, I will make an update video probably next Monday. We will see about that. There has been some progress, not much, but some progress and some sort of announcement. Yeah, exciting stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye!